It's so windy, I'm going to have to spend the entire video holding my hair up. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to Bali. <laughs> just said this. Oh god, at least the sky is looking gorgeous and, bl and blue, that's one thing. Hello guys, it's, uh, I may as well start filming now because I've been trying to wait for the wind to die down for the last, I don't know, two minutes and I don't think it's going to happen, so we're filming like this. So, welcome back to the start of um, this video and my channel if you're new. I'm not normally this chaotic, but today I wanted to talk to you about all of the books that I plan to read in June. I know it's already the 7th of June and I have already started reading two of the books I'm about to talk to you about and I'm actually going away to a Vipassana meditation retreat for 10 days at the end of June, from the 20th of June until the 30th. And so this is a very ambitious TBR for what will only be 20 days uh, of actual reading this month. So the two that I have already started and wanted to talk to you about were uh, Irma Voth by Miriam Taze and The Year of the Flood by uh, Margaret Atwood, which is, the, which is book two of the Mad Adam trilogy. The first of which is called Oryx and the Craig, and I read that back in February, I believe. I wanted to kind of approach the second book, still having the first book semi-fresh in my mind, because whilst we're following completely different characters, we're within the same world. I am about a third of the way through The Year of the Flood and Irma Voth, and I'm enjoying both of them, and though they should they should definitely be in my June wrap-up when the time comes. The next book on the list, which isn't actually a book, it's an audiobook, this is Margaret Atwood's short story collection. It's new and it's called Babes in the Wood, and I got this as an audiobook, hoping that the short form is going to really help my... not dislike, but just... Me and, short, me and audiobooks don't normally get on, and so I'm hoping that the kind of short form nature of this collection is going to propel me through the audiobook because I only have to concentrate for 20 to 30 minutes at a time before it will be, you know, a new story with new characters and all of that nice good stuff. So then there are three very exciting books which are Deacon King Kong, The Lager Queen of Minnesota, and Sweetland by Michael Crummy, I believe. And these three are all being lumped together because these are all part of my don't have any book older than three years on your TBR. And all three of these are two to three years old. They've been lingering on my TBR for so long now that they are part of my project of basically getting through the kind of, yeah, what's festering on my shelves. So, these three are very exciting because I've already read the first 10% of them and have been really, really excited by the writing and by the concept. Uh, so I'm hoping that all three of these remain strong and you'll be seeing them in my June wrap up. Then there is also Cacophony of Bone. This came onto my radar through Lauren at Lauren in the Books. This is a piece of non-fiction memoir, which normally isn't really my thing. So this may not make it to the June wrap up. But I'm going to give it my best shot because it, it is following one garden through every season of a year whilst also going through the pandemic. So it, I think this could work because it's, it's a topic that I'm interested in. Not necessarily the pandemic, but certainly the changing seasons within a garden and what that looks like and uh, being green fingered and, and learning about uh, plants and what grows best where I find that all very cosy and so I'm hoping that, that that does gel somewhat with me. And I have saved the best news till last because uh, a lot of you when I posted my big books of 2023 TBR were so excited that I was going to be trying East of Eden and Shadow of the Wind. You were saying that they're your best books and you were so excited to hear my thoughts on them and maybe a potential reading vlog uh, for those two. So. This is the month, guys. I will be reading East of Eden and Shadow of the Wind this month. There will be a reading vlog either this month or next month, depending on how long it's going to take me to read these, given that they're over 500 pages each. I hope, fingers crossed, I like both of them, because, I mean, if I DNF one or both of them, then I, I may feel slightly bad for discussing that. But, I mean, they're so beloved. How can I not like them? 
right <laughs> with that thank you very much for watching guys if you look down at my name below and you see that my subscriber count is less than 600 and you are not subscribed this is your official reminder to subscribe it is a legally binding contract that if the number next to my name is lower than 600 you have to click subscribe if it's above 600 then you know feel, feel free to subscribe or not you know no pressure to my returning subscribers and the people that always comment on my videos thank you so much it's so nice to see you guys popping up on my feed on a regular basis and chatting with you all it really really is a joy thank you for watching and as ever i will see you in my next video guys bye